So today, in regards to debilitative emotions, I want to go over something that I'm actually going through right now. So my son is five years old. He's in kindergarten and he was diagnosed with hyperactivity. And that's common with little boys, right? Um, my problem is that his hyperactivity and his impulsive behaviors are creating issues in school. And Benji is extremely smart, super smart. You have a conversation with him and you're baffled that you're having a conversation with a five-year-old. But I kind of feel like it comes in waves. Like sometimes he is very smart and other times he's just impulsive and jumps the gun. He, I get calls from his school. He's having problems in school. His teacher called me today that he pushed a little kid because he wanted to stand next to his friend. And his mind wasn't thinking like, oh, let me go ask this friend if I can stand here. No, he's like, let me get him out of the way. And that's his impulsive behaviors. And I am, my emotions are all over the place and I have ir irrational thoughts. Um, I have anxiety, so I think that irrational thoughts come often to me because sometimes I don't know how to handle my emotions and triggers like Benjamin's um, disabilities and me not being able to help him is one of them. Um, I want to help him. I know that he has something that he's struggling on and I, I want to guide him and I want him to be a great man and a great husband one day and I want him to be successful and I want him to know that he will always be strong and that he can accomplish whatever goals but I know all of this and I want all of this for him and my mind is going all over the place because how can I get a five-year-old who is hyper and who's having issues with being impulsive to understand let me think one step at a time let me you know focus on one thing and it's it's almost impossible and it's very overstimulating on me and I'm sure for him too. Um, and I'm, I try really hard to control my emotions because I know that that's very important and I know that that's what he sees. Um, and I sit down and I talk to him and I guide him and we have grown up conversations and, you know, we talk about things that he likes and things that he wants to do when he grows up. He wants to be an army man and all these things that make him happy. But his mind, you have a conversation with him and his mind's going 3000 miles an hour. And I try to hug him and hold him and tell him I love him. But then when he does something like this, where he's misbehaving in school, I don't know how to discipline him where he understands, okay, I'm doing something wrong, but not that I'm a bad kid because disciplining a child with hyperactivity is different. Um, and I'm, I still don't know how to properly deal with it. I sit down and talk to him and he understands what he's doing is wrong, but he does it without even realizing that he's doing it. And it is something that I try to keep my emotions under control when I talk to him. I know that I cannot go talk to Benji about something that he did wrong in school or a behavior that is not right if I'm mentally not prepared for that conversation, if I am overstimulated, if I am angry or upset or not on a like settled, calm state of mind, I'm going to come off wrong. And I'm gonna come off in a way that I do not want to come off to him. So that is an emotion that I'm currently exper experiencing now. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out how to properly deal with it. I'm a single mom. Um, so I think that's another problem. Benji just sees me. So he sees me when I'm tough on him. He sees me when I'm loving with him. And it is, it's something that I, I really wish I could help him. I really wish that I can do this the right way. And I don't, I don't know what the right way is. And, um, that is my emotion.